All right, so let's see if we can whip through this pretty quickly. The, um, the example we were doing in class had an array that looked like that. It had Cheez-Its, pretzels, chips, onions, I think, in there. And we were looking to try to pull some variables out of the array and uh, randomly pick what we want to eat. So inside of here, we're not going to use the, the draw. We're going to do it all in the setup because the setup only runs once, and we, want the, we don't want to have it run and post this every single time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, um, we, I think we made a variable called rand because we're looking for the random number. Random, and then we said snacks at length. And remember, we subtracted one from that so it didn't go past the end of the array. We also did a what to eat variable, uh, not a car, but a var variable. And then inside of there, we were looking to get the snacks, and we were going to do it at wherever the random number told us to pick it from. So when we tried to run this and get the text from it, we were getting an error. And uh, let's see the error really quick. What to eat, comma, and we'll go 2020. That looks fine. So we run this, we get this error, and it's looking for a two string, and it can't figure out what it's actually, it can't read the property it says. So it took me just a moment after we looked at this, and I said, well, what property is it trying to read? So let's look and see what the random number is that it's trying to, to print out. So I'll do uh, 20, comma, we'll put it at 40, so it's just down a little bit, or over a little bit on the page. And okay, let me comment this guy out. Run this one, and we run this a couple times, and we see it's not an integer, right? It's a floating point. So right there is our problem. It can't pick a location 2.8 in the array. It doesn't, which, you know, where is 2.8? It's, it's in between these somewhere. So it can't actually pick one of these locations. So what we need to actually do is add in something that rounds that number. So the number it picks out as a random number but that is somewhere between zero and the length of the array it needs to round that number so we get it a nice whole integer. So if we run this one again, and of course it doesn't want to run again. Um, let me finish by opening this guy up. And maybe I'll just copy and make a whole new one here. Let's see, we'll make a new project. And I'm gonna paste it all in just because I wasn't allowed, to. there we go. So if I do this and then run it a couple times, we got pretzels, bunions. Let's see, is it going to get zero? Will it round down to zero? Cheez-Its are zero. Rounding, 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 rounding. Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Um, so now it's actually working. So the problem was that we needed to actually round that number so we get a nice integer. The other option we could do here, and what I was trying to do at the very beginning, was to make this even simpler by just having a single bit. So I'm going to comment out a couple of these pieces, but I was trying to do this whole thing in one string, and I know it looks a little bit more complicated, but if we slowly uh, look at it and break it down, we have a variable, and it's called what's to eat. We're going to look inside of snacks, which is the array at the top. Inside of there, we're going to say pick a random number, Pick a random number that is going to be between 0 and the length of the array minus 1. And then round that number. So that's what, what the eat is going to be. So it's going to pick a random number between 0 and the length of the array. It's going to round it. And then when we come down here, we get to actually look and see what that value is. And it prints it out on the screen. So that's kind of the gotcha um, of it. We realistically could get rid of all these things now and make this entire program just a few lines of code. So keep in mind there's a couple of commands here that I want you to remember. I want you to remember snacks, how to randomly pull something from the array. If you could actually make something that generates even just this much code, it would probably be great. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs>